Let's talk about some news that just came out. The pup list, Cole Holcomb, Dean Lowry on the pup list, Cordero Patterson on the non-football injury list. Kind of saw all of those coming. Not Dean Lowry, to be honest. That's a little bit of a surprise. Holcomb is one that we expected to happen. I don't expect Cole Holcomb to be on the field by the beginning of week one. But that's a wait and see situation. Dean Lowry, I hope gets back out here soon. But at the same time, you know what you have in a Dean Lowry and you don't know what type of development DeMarvin Leal and Isaiah Loudermilk had this offseason. So that's something that you want to look out for a little bit more. I don't think Dean Lowry is a big hit for the Steelers as long as as long as he's back. Cordero Patterson's got to get on the field, man. Like this is not he wasn't there for he wasn't practicing much during OTAs and minicamp. If you're not there during training camp, like at some point you got to be ready to roll, especially with these new kickoff rules. It's becoming a bit of an issue. I'm not saying it's detrimental. I'm not saying it's going to end his time in Pittsburgh. I'm just saying that if the Pittsburgh Steelers are ready to make this dude a superstar on kickoffs, you got to be on the field, man. And we got to understand how long it's going to be until you're on the field. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Have you ever found yourself scrolling on social media, maybe spending too much time on whatever platform you're addicted to and thinking, man, why am I feeling down? Why do I find myself not finding the joy that social media is supposed to give me? That's because comparison is the thief of joy, and it's easy to envy other people's lives, but therapy can help. It can help you focus on what you want instead of what other people have so you can start living your best life. I'm somebody who's advocated for therapy for a long time. You constantly see me wearing the sweatshirt. Going to therapy is cool. I've reaped the benefits for years, and I think everybody who's thinking about it should add that to their agenda as well because in one way or another, it's very helpful. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Stop comparing and start focusing with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash AllSteelers today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H E L P dot com slash all Steelers. You hear those three names. What were your thoughts? Yeah, the Cordero Patterson one is a little bit surprising, but at the same time, he did say at OTAs when he did show up that, yeah, I'm at about 80% right now, but you know, that's that's normal for me. So this tells me that it might be something that happened before then and he's taken it slow and it's just lasted a little bit longer than Patterson expected. But I agree with you. I mean, he's got to get out there. He's new to the team. He's not new to Arthur Smith, but at the same time, when you're trying to institute these new special teams plays, that's new to everybody, not just new to you, but new to everybody. You need yep. that that unit out there cohesively throughout the entirety of training camp. So they need him. Lowry is very surprising. It's a name that yeah. I feel like all the time gets floated to the back and then we bring it up and then floats to the back again. Well, this is him being brought up. We'll see how far he floats to the back before he can get out there on the field and start really showing where he's at and what is going to be a very busy defensive line training camp. There's about nine names. Maybe only seven of them make it to the roster. You're expecting Lowry to be in that top tier there, but if he's injured, does that open an opportunity for somebody else like a Braden Fajoko to get more reps and potentially to make his way onto the roster because he's had more opportunity? Yeah, I I, I think I agree with that. You... You have to have him out there. I don't think it's a, it's a, depending on the time, you know, if he misses all of training camp, that's an issue, you know, and, and nothing's guaranteed in the NFL. I don't care how many games you've played in. I've been here long enough to realize that it does not matter. If you're not on the field, you're not available. They won't keep you. It, they, they could care less. Like this is a business at the end of the day. That's just how it rocks. I am less worried. The Cordero one, I'm more worried about Holcomb. We saw common, nothing changes. Um, and, and we'll see what happens from there.